sorry for their loss. This is a heavy one, but it was all their doing, wasn't it? It was all their fault. Let's take a ride as we bring things to light and elevate the mind. Are you ready? Welcome to the Mindset Elevator. I hope you guys are doing awesome. It's Andrea here again. Hope you guys are rested up, feeling great. I know I am, but the people that fumbled us, they may not be feeling as great as we are because we're the type of people that keep it moving no matter what. And these people are still hung on. The bad that they did, the dirt that they did, karma is their present now because of what these people did to you. And your absence is the karma, is the basis of this karma. It's hurting them. You understand? We know the saying that goes, what goes around comes around. You know, you get what you give. And we say these things very freely without really anchoring down what that really means. And unfortunately for your haters, they know now that they shouldn't have messed with somebody like you because now you're unreachable and you're not really willing to go back to all that mess that they started and don't feel bad about it. Your absence is their karma and it's hurting them. Your absence is a void in their lives now. They feel your absence. It is hurting. It is painful for them. Like anything in this world that can cause us pain and anxiety, your absence is that for them. Now, a lot of people who fumble you are going to turn to anger, actually, when they decide how they want to express how they feel about you not being around. People are going to be angry and might, you know, talk you out of your name and say that you, you're the reason why things went south and you're the reason why things went left. When in fact, you are the person who was holding both of you guys up or even whoever is involved here. It could be a group of people. It could be your family members. It can be people at your workplace. When people realize that you took a step back and you're not willing to deal with their drama, because who likes really drama? Well, of course, these haters do, but we don't. We don't mess with that stuff, you know? They try to put us in that stuff. So now when they see that you are unreachable, they have a massive problem with this and they turn to anger, hatred, and even shaming, you know, smear campaigning to get people to believe that your absence, it's it had nothing to do with them. It's all you. You're the crazy one. You're the one that has high standards or you think you're too good for everybody, when everybody knows that's not the truth and not everybody's going to know what to believe here, the bottom line is that these haters will turn to anger sometimes to deal with the void of your absence because karma's hitting them like a ton of bricks and they're not really able to steady themselves here because they didn't realize. It gets them so angry that you're actually gone. It gets them angry that you left. It gets them upset, so upset that they blow their top. You know, and so you get people like that. Of course, you get people also expressing this karma, this feeling of karma, this feeling of getting what they gave, right? Some people are going to be feeling sad, just immense sadness, like really like a heavy loss because you brought so much joy and you brought so much light and clarity to a lot of groups of people. And so these groups of people now seeing that you're not reachable, you will not answer their calls, you will not give them the light of day, they feel this sadness that like they lost something really special in their lives. And of course, with sadness may come regret as well. These are groups of people may feel very regretful for what they did. I've seen people feel actually sad that, you know, when, when they did what they did and I took a step back. There was no malice on my end. There was no, oh, I got to get back at this person. You wipe your hands clean and that's how I, I moved. I would wipe my hands clean of people and you, you could tell that 
these people have sadness in their eyes. You could tell that they're sad. They might try to reach out. I've dealt with this. People trying to reach out and reconcile, but you know what they've done. You know how they get down. You know it doesn't align with your energy. So you, you have to let that go. And there's no anger involved on, on my end or on the people's end who decide to not go forward with fixing this. <laughs> People are going to feel real sadness. They're going to feel very hurt and pain inside and even want to reconcile with you when they see now that karma is hitting them heavy. Their karma is losing you. That's what they get for what they've done. That's what they get for disrespecting you. That's what they get for cheating on you or, or sending you in a tailspin, trying to purposely mislead you when they knew you were the light all along. And nothing tops the light. You understand? Nothing, nothing can really destroy that. And they try to destroy you in a sense because you are the light. But of course, these groups of people feel sad now. So we got angry people. We got sad people. What else? We have jealous people, right? Of course, this is the last one I'm going to touch on because jealous people and envious people, I mean... These people could kind of feel a bit of both, a little sadness, a little anger, a little frustration, a little anxiety. They could be fe feeling all types of things balled into one. Why would people feel jealous that karma's hitting them like a ton of bricks because you're not around? It's because of how you're still shining, you know. It's because of how you're still grinding. It's because of how you're still glowing. You still have that vibrance that is so nostalgic to them. They feel so upset that even though things are done with you and them, you're not done. You're, you're not through. Your mission, your purpose is just getting started. And so they see how monumental that is, how profound that is, and they get kind of jealous. Because if these people did something to you, that caused you to remove yourself from their lives and you're still going up. Remember, a lot of these people are narcissists. They think that you can't go or grow without them. And then they see when you're not around and they're feeling jealous and anxiety and worry and angst. When they see that you're still skyrocketing to the top and they literally have nothing to do with it, they get very jealous. They may do what the angry people will do. They'll start telling lies on your name and say, nah, you were the person who messed up. You were the person who caused them to do this. That's a lot of narc talk. You know what I mean? A lot of narc talk, narc verbiage, things that they would say. All right. So the thing about you is that you did not seek to, you know, get revenge on these groups of people. You, you loved yourself enough. You respected yourself enough to understand that it's time to keep boogieing. You know, you weren't really willing to sit down and take this garbage from these people. And you shouldn't take garbage from nobody. You, you have to know who you are here. You decided to take yourself out of the equation of whatever mess and chaos these people are enveloped in. And when you did, you may not realize, but when you did this, all types of groups of people started moving all types of different ways but it all comes down to the same common denominator here. Your absence left a certain kind of void in their life and it's transmuting and turning into karma for them. Their karma is you not being around. Their karma is you not being accessible, right? So you may not have sought vengeance. You may not have sought to hurt them. You removed yourself. You didn't want to be hurt anymore. You didn't want to have to be subjected to the abuse or subjected to the trifling natures of these people. You removed yourself. You did the right thing, but it had an effect on them that you may not have thought about. Um, but you know now, right? These people are feeling all types of ways. These people are feeling lonely, feeling angry, telling lies, spreading rumors, doing all types of crazy stuff because the karma that they're getting and it's hitting them hurting them. And they know why. It's because you're not around. They know that you were the light. They know you were the true love of their life. They fumbled you heavy. They fumbled you heavy and they can't get that back from you. They can't get you back in the same way. They can't see your light in the same way. They, you know, they have lost out on all possible opportunities, all possible ventures, a life with you, a life to be your friend, you know, a lifelong friend, not these people messed it up. So all you can do is know that you did not seek, you know, you, you did what you had to do. 
you removed yourself from the situation and these people have to be on their merry way and improve, find ways to improve. And all you have to do is keep going up to the top like you always did. Thank you guys so much for hopping on my elevator. This topic was about the fact that losing you was their karma. All right, that's what they get. And we did not want to cause these people pain, but unfortunately they're feeling all types of ways over here. Let them be over here and let you keep going up here, guys. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye.